we get up to the counter and he's like who are the four players so he's like uh One's Big Randy. Yeah, and one's I got Big Randy. Who's the next one? He's like Schuster, Pyhouse, Com, Comma Neil, and then Pyhouse, like, okay, Comma DJ, fourth. and then he's like Homa, uh, Max, and he goes, Max is coming home, huh? <laughs> Right now we are in Valencia and we are right next door to Vista Valencia Golf Course which is where I grew up, uh, my first home golf course and uh, you know kind of my uh, my St. Andrews, my home of golf. Everybody up and moving? Yeah. <laughs> Tight squeeze. You get, we had a line of demarcation. <laughs> <laughs> When I come back to Vista, I, I just feel kind of the initial joy that golf brought me. I met a ton of friends here. I mean, I met my caddy here. You know, my first hole in one was there. Uh, my first birdie was there. You know, all, all the all the cool vibes you would just get, anyone would get just doing, you know, their passion for the first time. And mine fortunately came when I was very young and I got to do it with all, all my kind of best buddies. Every Friday there used to be a game, there might still be honestly, called The Stick. And all the guys from the bar uh, would come out here. I didn't realize I was older, but they were wasted. <laughs> and we would play a big skins game, like 15, 16 people. And there's a little hole in that tree that Jimmy Altavilla slightly made a little bigger, but he hit his driver through there with a 30 yard cut every day since the day I started playing here on Fridays. It was unbelievable. Vista Valencia was cool. Uh, it was cool to see the reception Max got. It, it was cool to... It's like a conquering hero came home. Yeah. I've been working here at Vista since 1988, been teaching for 27 years. Coach gives Max when he was at Valencia High. Great kid, grew up on this course. There's a little course right out here. Were you guys better than Max? Do you have learned like how that matchup go in high school? In high school, yes, our team was better than Max's team. <laughs> um, That's what we're looking for. <laughs> not, not high school team, but as you know, high school golf, we play six, score five, so it's not down to just one person. Yeah. But it was always a, always a pleasure to take down Valencia when he was at Valencia. <laughs> All right, good. So you had the boys playing hard against Valencia. Playing against Valencia very hard. I got very lucky uh, with my background in golf because we had such a great junior program. Um, Jason Gore came here before us and kind of helped maybe kind of build a program like that. So my friends, like, we just came here to hang out. Came here to play a little golf, but hang out, have an orange bang <laughs> here and there, play as many holes as we possibly could. In high school, I saw a young kid that had a fire for the game. Um, didn't like to make mistakes, but when he made a mistake, you knew he made a mistake, but he'd always bounce back from that. Although it was in the family a little bit with my dad, he kind of at some point kind of let the golf course and the people teach me golf. And uh, I was very lucky to grow up uh, at a course I was very welcome to, to you know, kids and, and the youth. I think if I, if I had grown up at, at a country club or something, I don't think I would have fallen in love with golf the way I did. This place is a, is a gem um, that a lot of people don't realize how tough the course is. Um, only an executive par 61. Max, what's your low round here? Uh, it's only six under, uh, 55 though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe the lowest ever on four. So I was thinking because Max helped us win money yesterday, should he should he be the bank today against the strap boys? I'm in. Five, five, five. Me, me and you versus the strap boys? Yeah. How long is this hold? Uh, it's short, uh, 295 probably. Okay. Swing away, Maxwell. Is that good? Oh, I'm back home, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I want you thinking negative. Okay. <laughs> 500 oh my minus yeah, yeah. 15. We can deal with that. So I've got off to a shitty start both days, so I'd yeah, like yeah. to get off to a good start. They'll be right. Now the T, Jane Austen. He just wants to show up that wedge game. Max, I'd love to introduce you to my friend Sense and Sensibility. <laughs> Randy and I are breaking away from no laying up. We're starting a rival called Sensible Layup. No, no, no. Taste, tasteful. Good pace. Here's Big Randy. I don't have to remind you guys, he made five birdies yesterday. Oh. 
How old were you when you can drive it over this ditch for the first time? Man, I don't know, but we partied after. <laughs> now it's a six iron somehow. Oh, that was awesome. Made it. Ah. Sure, he plays golf for a living. Great birdie, man. Pretty good too there, Max. Thanks. I was not like a prodigy by any means. I was very driven, so I was very focused. I decided when I was, I think, 12, my dad had it, sat me down and pretty much said, hey, I know you want to play sport you know, for your career. Um, he said, if you really want to do that, you need to pick one. Um, at the time I was between football, basketball, and golf. And uh, I guess I was smart enough to realize that I wasn't a, a physical specimen. So I, my dad said, once I started asking questions about what to do with the golf swing, he didn't say a word and just put, put me in a, in, a, in a lesson, which was probably the greatest thing he did. So that kind of kept me very focused. And that's why Vista Valencia had played a big part uh, for me because my friends like to come here and you know instead of maybe going around looking for things to do Like I said, it gave me something to focus on that wasn't you know your typical adolescent thought <laughs> My I, I had 14 girlfriends and they were all my golf clubs so. When we were in high school, uh, we were playing against our own team in our little purple and gold matches uh, This green you obviously can't see and uh, if the pin was on the right front We would take the pin we were done and plug it into the fringe on the left side of the green so that our teammates would hit it about 90 feet from the hole. <laughs> my associate! Oh my god! Icarino! 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 Three for two, that's gonna be a winner. All right, Max, what do we got? 128. Heart spun back. <laughs> Good lord, that was that had to be six inches. <laughs> One twenty-eight, you say? Yeah, but you got to factor Max big ass pitch mark right in front of the hole. <laughs> this is a great golf course, but it's mats. There's not really a chipping area, um, and the golf course doesn't have a par five on it. So uh, as you grow up, you realize like you might need to get a little bit better at those types of things. So we were fortunately able to um, get a membership at Valencia Country Club. Well, my family couldn't afford to stay there. Um, it was more you know, an investment, as my dad kind of said to me, not in a, any kind of negative way, but he wanted me to understand that like this wasn't, you know, my family doesn't have a ton of money, so it wasn't like it was growing on trees, but we made a kind of a calculated decision that if I could get better at a, at a kind of a big boy golf course, uh, it would really help. We had a few more good players over there, Gore, Jason Gore's over there as well, um, and he helped me a ton learn, uh, learn how to play golf, learn how to, manage you know the game and the golf course and the golf ball and all these things so you know i was a good junior player but i was nothing you know special there there i, I was cal wasn't my first choice i wasn't getting into the schools i wanted to and i got very lucky i did go there because i met most of my best friends uh and we had such a great team and a great group of guys that we all learned from and i learned so much in my first year that after my freshman year my golf game finally kind of took off and i i realized that i might be able to do this like legitimately do this for a living and um you know kind of worked out from there neil this is a true celebration randy to have the hole with the four for three yep. right in the center Hi, girl. Uh, the diner boys remain one up the course itself, it's an executive course, which means it's shorter, but it's not, you know, it's less distance, but it doesn't mean it's easy shots. I hit every every club in my bag. It was a lot like Audubon uh, down in New Orleans. I thought Vince Valencia, the greens were really good. They I, were. I, I putted well, they were all in great shape, which sometimes at an executive course, the details are, or the course conditions can be a little bit you know, hit or miss. The driving range was full. Yes, it was. It full. was at on a Wednesday at uh, 11.30 <laughs> when we made the turn. It was packed. It, it just is very approachable. Yeah. Kind of my lens was like thinking back, you know, Max as a kid, it's like, yeah, what a great environment for a child to like go to, right? You have a, an executive course that's gonna, you know, one, it's gonna make you a good wedge player and, and you gotta kind of fit the ball off the tee. You got a nine hole course where you can go play around and you know dial in your wedge game or go you know bet with your buddies and it's just you know <laughs> i 
I don't know. I feel like we harp on the same stuff. It's like, God damn, man. Is that like, good for golf? Yeah, it's yeah. like, dude, just well, Max, more of to that. that. Uh, Randall, update at the turn. The Diner Boys are one up. Uh, Maxwell shot a 130. Neil shot a one over 32. DJ shot a two over 33. And I shot a four over 35. I had a good college career. It started off slow. And af after my, my first summer, like it kind of just all clicked. My golf game clicked, but like the golf in general, like I started to see golf courses. I started to see how I was gonna map myself around a golf course. And once I started getting on that spec or aspect of golf, it's weird how like the physical stuff just kind of become second nature. I didn't win very much in college. I think I only won three times, but the two of them were, I won the Pac-12 championship at my senior year at LA Country Club, which was sweet because it's like my hometown. I had a, you know, my whole family there. And then, um, and then I won the national championship uh, a couple weeks later at uh, in Atlanta somewhere. But we had the best college team that year. We uh, won 11 of 13 events. We didn't win the nationals, but I think everybody, even probably Justin Thomas's Alabama team would would agree that we were the best team that year. What's the play here? I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, it's a very nice slice. That was pretty cool. It's cool looking. You going floppy? I'm going floppy. That's cool. Look at me there, Max. That's cool, man. <laughs> Uh, our team had a bunch of uh, quote unquote rejects that couldn't get in the college they really had first gone to and not that Cal's anything to to sneeze at but uh, you know at the time it was UCLA, USC if you're from California. Myself, Michael Weaver and Brandon Hague you were the we're, you know we were all the same age and I think we all had that motivation um, as kind of almost like second class great golfers to prove that we could play with kind of anybody and it was fun to do it with them. Talk to me about playing with Max. I mean, what a what a pleasure! What a uh, what a good golfer. Just let's just say that. Like, what a really good guy. He's just really good at it. It's a his Max's ball flight was the definition of a fade instead of a slice. And it's almost like I've I've never really seen that. Playing with Max was the first time I've ever played with somebody who's won on the PGA Tour. <laughs> no offense to anybody I may have played with in the past. Like, it's a different echelon of oh, pros. In yeah, oh. yeah, different echelon of <laughs> pro. Holy That's how I said too. <laughs> Ace, yeah, good ace. He couldn't have been more carefree and fun, and you know, pros are just like us, vibe. Mm -hmm. With the exception that he was able to lock in about five seconds before every shot. We would be in the middle of a story, we'd all be laughing. You know, not, the vibe didn't change at all, but just the way that he was able to mentally like take himself out of the BS that you know and the, and yeah. the stuff we're doing and execute every shot right. was a joy to see. Lay the hammer down, do that. Oh God, most dangerous lead in sports. The morale is way down. The Diner Boys are officially rattled. Oh my gosh. What a shot. Here's Max for Eagle after an excellent drive. Three. Yeah, but my first uh, taste of professional golf was great. I went to the Fries on a sponsored exemption, which was the first event of the season. So it was my first professional start and I got ninth. <laughs> Made more money than I could ever possibly imagine having, you know, my second event. Because I got ninth, I got into the Shriners and I got 30th. And I sure did, after a good college career, and especially my senior a really good season, I just assumed like, this is just how I'm gonna always play. Uh, I ended up getting through Q School, going on the web tour, um, got my card, uh, won an event, and then, you know, got kind of dream start. Got on tour pretty much as soon as I could have imagined. Ranger comes over. I like, God, that's not, that's not his drive, is it? He's like, yeah. Who is that? Max Homa? Oh, he's still playing on tour? <laughs> but my golf game started slipping 
went back to the web tour, had a bad year, like just hitting it not well. Uh, and then, you know, just started to lose a lot of confidence, but I did happen to win and, and did get the, I did happen to get my tour card back. It was kind of false hope and I knew it because my game was, I knew what it took the first year to be on tour. And I knew that my game was like worse the next time. And I just kind of lost my way a little bit. Missed like every cut for a season uh, or, or a year basically. It's hard. It's hard to struggle in golf, period. The course on the PJ Tour are just a little bit more demanding. The fields are just a shade deeper, so you don't really get away with uh, you don't get away with hitting it like I did. That was a that was a rough couple couple years. Uh, I got back with my old coach, Les Johnson, uh, and I knew that long term we would be all right. 27-year-old Max Homa finished tied for sixth in Cleveland, seventh place in Boise, good enough to be a three-time Web.com Tour graduate as he heads back to the PGA Tour. comes to mind at Wells Fargo on Sunday was the putt I made on 14. Uh, I had a rain delay, which was our third on the weekend. I had a feeling I was winning um, just because I I think I was at that point like three or four under without a bogey. Really thought to myself like, you know, the golf gods are not making this easy on me. When that putt went in, it, it like, it, it's like, it was crazy. It was like a light bulb hit, went off and I was like, yes, this is me. Like, I know, like, I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be a Justin Thomas type or perennial winner here and there, but I did know that I had some of those traits. I really did believe that. That's what got me through the bad golf. So when that putt went in, it was just good because I was like, I'm still the same dude. Like I'm not, I'm nervous, but I like, like the nerves. I like the feeling of my hands, you know, feeling perfect on a golf club when my legs are jelly. Like those, those are the things that all hit me right as that putt went in. So, and, and then after that, it was just kind of like a, almost like a walk in the park. It was fun. And that's what I remember about golf. Golf used to be pretty fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, yeah, cool birdie. Cool. Yeah. Really fun there. <laughs> <laughs> This to win the match. Over easy, with cheese, bring on the pancakes, baby. Woo! Diner boys. Diner boys. Hey, good match, guys. Good match. Let's get out of here. Sit there, wait. We got you for a 30, 28, 58. You and Fury, man. Mr. Pie, I had you for a 65. Hey. Six, I had you for a 66. Uh, five over? Yeah. Yeah, 66. Damn, you clipped me. Oh. What, Max shot 66 yesterday? You shot 66 <laughs> today? The tour pros are just like us. Shot a 66 with my associate. That's how the diner boys roll. <laughs> this is really uncharted territory. We won $98. You won 98 bucks on this trip. You guys won all possible money. The diner boys. It's the diner boys, truly. Uh, we're, running, we're running a quality small business. We're, we go play another round of golf. Yeah. We can maybe press it. Maybe, maybe they want to run it back on the little part three. You want to press it on the part three? Gosh, golf was most fun when I was like 10. Uh, growing up here at Vista Valencia, we're playing Chica, the part three course every day. Chica, oh, that's a great question. I think in Spanish it means the young woman. I think in uh, Southern California it means the greatest nine holes there is. <laughs> We would play nine times in a day. We all knew the course record out there and it was all our buddies. I hate to admit it, but my caddy Joe has the course record and he makes me call him Mr. 19. All right, number four, it's 80 yards, but you can't hit it higher than what, 25 feet? Or you have to go like super high. So that was 
those are the most fun times when golf just felt so not easy because the ball just kept going a hole, but just easy because there was no thoughts, there was no worries, there was no how am I going to fund this. We would, you know, play for who was going to buy the soda, and even when nobody had money, we would just play for who was going to get made fun of for the rest of the day. I love that you have both there, and and I think getting back to a, a younger Max. Think about it, you have an executive course, you can test yourself, you have kind of the quote unquote real golf course, but then you have this like nine hole playground um, that, you know, having both in one facility is, is really special. The cradle and the preserve are great, but that's not where people get into the game of golf. And I think Chica and places like Valencia absolutely are. I think it's awesome what what Pinehurst did to put in the cradle because if they, if these PGA pros see that's a success and that's getting all this buzz and, and press, it gives them the, the green light to say, hey, well, what if we take that parking lot or that crappy area over there that we haven't done anything with for 20 years and we make it into a par three course? Like people might actually play it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Hey! Yes, sir. hey. Good, Good club. club, buddy. Good yeah. Your remains even par. Folks, we have a developing situation. Oh! Randy, developing situation is even par on the eighth hole. It's a pitch and putt. <laughs> if he shoots under par, can we get a micro mega bonus? Um, it's a nine holes? Yeah, nine yeah, holes. Yeah, nine holes. Uh, sure. I don't even... Uh, I, Cut. Uh, <laughs> Cut. All right, cool, <laughs> cool. All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks, see you later. All right, this is the site of... John Maxwell Homa's first hole in one. Oh. Folks, that's right at it. Go, go. Kind of little zip, hot. little zip. Oh, oh my God. A Max Homa to win the match. The Diner Boys fought valiantly, but it just was not quite enough. Well played. Great play. Big Randy needs to get up and down from 90 yards for the micro bonus. <laughs> what is that? Hey, hey, it's a, hey, you know what it is? If it was it's easy, the it's the it. What? If it was easy, everybody. Come on, you can chip that in. Come on, you can. Yeah, I, no. Hybrid. Oh, oh, it was a oh, hybrid. Oh. Uh, I think Paul. Fuck oh, yeah. Let's go, big, big dog. He intends to make it. But today. Would not be that day. We'll finish that day. The quest for the mega and the micro bonus continues. I mean, what can you say, folks? Listen, nine, even par nine threes. Nothing nine. to be ashamed of. Nine Nothing. straight threes. Great stuff from you. Great stuff. Hey. I'm proud of you. Fun Very to proud watch. of you. Thanks. Fun to watch. Thanks. That was, that was cool. That was cool to see. Max, let's get you to the airport, buddy. All right, let's, let's hit it. You guys truly are class acts from the beginning to end. Uh, Talk to me about your experience in Southern California. That was my, I've been to LA six times. I've always had kind of a pessimistic attitude about it. Really? So and Cause I'm always in Santa Monica or West Hollywood. I'm like, oh my God, all these people probably spent hours getting ready this morning to go for a walk. This was my best experience. I think it's cause we kind of stayed on the periphery the whole time. It's impossibly pretty yeah like it's impossibly gorgeous and they, like we were talking about the geography like when you combine mountains and ocean yeah. it's just like it's endlessly new. stimulating like from a visual state like you're just like man this is a pretty cool place to be like i i that never gets old really no yeah.
or, or on a short trip. <laughs> or I've, yeah. Maybe it does. But Maybe I should find out. Yeah. So it's easy to get cynical, and I love being cynical about, sure, you yeah. know, golf is dying, golf is in such a bad spot. I don't think golf is dying, and we go on a trip like this, and this, that proves it to me. I, I think you should be cynical about the, the commerce or the economics of golf, perhaps. There'll be a reckoning, but but that <laughs> that's like what golf is, the game of golf, like people love that yeah. just as much as they always have. Did you guys sell any screenplays while we were out there? Um, dropped a few off, you know. Waiting to hear back. Yeah. So until then, you can drop our headshots. You can find me at the uh, Starbucks on Melrose. Can you guys give me give me two good headshot looks right now. Give me two different looks each. And then you kind of <laughs> gotta change it up though. And then change it up. This yeah, is like where the glasses go. Yeah, that's good. All right. Uh, we'll let we'll let you. Will know. you call us or yeah, should yeah, we call no, you? No, no, don't call us. We'll let you know. Thanks for coming in, guys. Okay, all right, this was great. Thank you. Yeah, a pleasure working with yeah, you, yeah. as always. Hope, hope to see you on some projects. All right.